Once widely discredited and constantly delayed, the Tesla Semi is finally set to transform the heavy-duty transportation industry. For the first time in history, an electric truck can travel an impressive 500 miles on a single charge, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, even when carrying up to 80,000 pounds. The goal? To replace the noisy, aging diesel trucks that have been polluting the roads for decades. But that's just the beginning. With the arrival of the second generation, the Semi will not only be faster and more powerful, it will feature a surprising innovation that promises to leave professional drivers speechless. According to Elon Musk, this new feature could be a game-changer, helping transport companies save millions of dollars a year and making the Tesla Semi an almost mandatory choice for modern logistics fleets. And the most surprising thing? When the Giga Semi factory is up and running, Tesla will be able to assemble a truck in just five minutes. That's right, five minutes. The year 2025 is expected to be a turning point, with at least 10,000 semis on the road and dominating the heavy-duty truck market. But what exactly makes the second-generation semi so special? What technologies make it capable of completely outperforming diesel trucks? And why do companies that fail to embrace this innovation risk losing significant profits? Let's now explore all the secrets behind this electric super truck. Construction of the Giga Semi factory is moving ahead at a rapid pace, perhaps even faster than planned. Tesla expects to ramp up production by mid-2026, reaching an annual capacity of 50,000 units that year. But it looks like that timeline could be pushed back. A recent video released by Zangler shows the progress of the construction in stunning detail. Currently, about 68% of the structure is complete. The foundation in the southwest corner is nearly complete, and the first steel columns have begun to be erected, a clear sign that assembly of the main structure could begin soon. The stamping area, one of the most complex parts of the factory, has already been filled and compacted, indicating that Tesla is ready to begin construction around it. In addition, large storage tanks are being installed, which raises questions. Could Tesla be using CATL prismatic batteries instead of the current 2,170 cells? Or are these tanks part of another essential process on the production line? Meanwhile, the drainage system has been completed, fencing in the parking lot has begun to be installed, and propane tanks have been strategically placed, probably to heat the installation or speed up the curing of the concrete. All of this points to an intensification of the work at an impressive pace. Saying that Tesla can build a semi in just five minutes seems like a stretch, and it does sound unbelievable at first glance. But given the company's track record, that may not be so far off the mark. Class A trucks like the semi typically require much more manual labor than passenger vehicles due to their size and complexity. This makes it difficult to fully automate production. Furthermore, the production volume of these trucks is usually much lower usually just a few hundred per year, which makes investing in 100% automated assembly lines less attractive. Another relevant point is that these vehicles are often customized according to the needs of each customer, with different engines, transmissions, suspensions, and axle configurations, which adds even more variables to the production process. The assembly of trucks like the Tesla Semi still relies heavily on human intervention especially due to the complexity and customizations required by each customer. Even so, specific steps such as chassis welding, painting, and the installation of standardized components are now automated to ensure precision and efficiency in the production process. But how does Tesla plan to build a truck every five minutes? The answer lies in the impressive scale of the new semi-factory, which will operate alongside the existing Giga Nevada. This combined facility offers the potential to achieve extremely high production levels. Elon Musk has confidently stated that when operating at full capacity, the factory will be capable of producing up to 50,000 units per year, a bold goal, but one that is starting to look achievable. One of Giga Nevada's biggest differentiators is that it also manufactures the batteries used in the semi which eliminates the need to wait for parts from other facilities and streamlines the entire process. In addition, both the electric truck's engines and battery systems are much less complex than conventional diesel engines. 
This simplification is crucial to drastically reducing the time needed to assemble each unit. To put that in perspective, producing 50,000 trucks a year means more than 135 units a day, about 5 trucks an hour, or 1 every 10 to 15 minutes. And with further advances in automation and in-house logistics, that average could drop even further, making the goal of assembling a semi every 5 minutes a palpable goal. However, to truly conquer the market, Tesla needs to go further. In 2023, approximately 297,000 Class A trucks were sold in the United States and Canada. Kenworth and Peterbilt alone accounted for about 190,000 of those units. This means that while 50,000 trucks per year is a remarkable feat, Tesla will have to double its production to compete at the top of the industry. The Tesla Semi isn't just another truck. It represents a new era in trucking, cleaner, quieter, and with zero emissions. Giant companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, DHL, and Costco have already seen the potential and are preparing to add the vehicle to their fleets. And Tesla isn't stopping. Mass production of the second-generation semi is getting closer. So far, most of the units delivered are prototypes of the first generation, with 2,170 battery cells. About 100 of the trucks have already reached customers, but that's just the beginning. According to Dan Priestley, Tesla's semi-engineering lead, mass production of the next version will begin once the company collects real-world usage data and expands its fast-charging network for trucks, known as megachargers. With that, the next generation could arrive as early as next year, a moment that could completely redefine truck production. Although there have been rumors that CATL's prismatic batteries will be used, this seems unlikely. While they are cheaper, they do not offer the performance that the Tesla Semi requires. Leaked information suggests that the next generation will use 4,680 cells, Tesla's most advanced technology to date. These batteries provide greater energy density, allowing for greater autonomy without increasing the size of the pack in addition to improving the fast recharge capacity. The 4680's flapless design also simplifies the assembly process, reduces weight, and improves overall vehicle efficiency. This will not only make the second-generation Tesla Semi more cost-competitive, but it will also gain in performance and range, setting it apart from its competitors in the electric truck segment. With about 68% of the new factory already completed, the Giga Semi project is beginning to take shape more clearly. We're talking about a gigantic structure with more than 370,000 square meters, made possible by an investment of 3.6 billion US dollars. A clear sign that Tesla is betting big to lead the future of freight transportation. We believe that it won't just be the Tesla Semi that will be produced at this new facility. There's a good chance that other vehicles are in the works, including a Tesla electric bus, a minivan, and even a motorhome. But why are we so convinced that the semi represents a revolution? The answer goes beyond the company's manufacturing capabilities. What's really impressive are the technological advances incorporated into this truck, and even more so, the practical benefits it promises to bring. Today, the United States is facing a serious shortage of truck drivers, which is seriously limiting the capacity to transport freight. After all, drivers are human. They get tired, they need rest, and the work is hard. Many professionals are leaving the field, and few are joining. This puts the logistics industry in a critical situation in the medium and long term. This is exactly what Elon Musk highlighted when talking about the importance of autonomous driving in the Tesla Semi. According to him, the truck will become even more efficient and revolutionary when equipped with the full self-driving system whose implementation is expected to begin later this year, in parallel with the increase in production. This is a milestone because the Semi will be the world's first Class 8 truck, the most robust type for heavy-duty transportation, to operate at a high level of autonomy. This technology has the potential to radically transform long-haul trucking. Imagine a vehicle that can complete much of the journey on its own, allowing the driver to simply supervise or rest, especially on trips that cross entire states. Although the presence of a driver will continue to be necessary in urban areas, complex maneuvers or logistical stops 
Autonomous driving will considerably reduce the physical and mental effort required of these professionals, also reducing the risks associated with fatigue and drowsiness, factors frequently linked to serious accidents. Tesla fully understands these challenges and is focused on making truck drivers' lives safer, more convenient, and more sustainable. When the semi reaches mass production with a fully functional autonomous driving system, Drivers will no longer need to constantly focus on the steering wheel, especially on long and repetitive routes. This will allow them to rest during the journey without compromising delivery times. This new paradigm promises to not only improve the quality of life of drivers, but also drastically increase logistics efficiency. After all, a truck that can operate virtually without interruptions represents a huge gain for any transportation company. And the benefits go beyond autonomy. The Tesla Semi is more economical, easier to drive, more powerful, and accelerates better than traditional diesel trucks. It may seem surprising, but it has already proven its efficiency. Elon Musk is quick to say that the Semi is a real moneymaker for the transportation industry. Since the project was announced in 2017, Musk has said that the Semi's operating cost would be about 85 cents per mile far below the $1.51 per mile that diesel trucks cost. And while electricity and fuel prices fluctuate over time, what remains constant is the semi's impressive energy efficiency, which averages just 1.6 to 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. And this isn't just theory. Companies like PepsiCo, Costco, Walmart, DHL, and SAA have already put their Tesla semi units on the roads and confirmed these numbers. In real tests, Consumption remained around 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, consolidating the truck as a truly viable and advantageous alternative to the traditional transportation model. As promised by Tesla, the Tesla Semi's average energy consumption is around 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. Considering the average electricity rate in California, this equates to approximately 30 cents per mile. This means that to travel a distance of 6.5 miles, the driver will pay about $3.30. In comparison, a diesel truck that consumes one gallon for every 6.5 miles would cost around $3.66 at current fuel prices. While this difference may seem small at first glance, it becomes huge when multiplied by the thousands of miles driven by these vehicles each year. In addition to fuel economy, another great advantage of the Tesla Semi is its simplified and extremely efficient design. It completely eliminates the combustion engine, complex transmission, and hundreds of moving parts that, in traditional trucks, require constant maintenance. According to Tesla, the semi's maintenance costs are around 10 cents per mile. This means that for a vehicle that travels 100,000 miles per year, the total cost over five years would be just $50,000. A conventional diesel truck with an average maintenance cost of 20 cents per mile would rack up about $100,000 in the same period, twice as much. And we're not just talking about money. Diesel trucks also require much more maintenance time, with frequent oil changes, exhaust system overhauls, and fixes to complex mechanical parts. Each trip to the shop represents not only a high cost, but also downtime. And downtime means delays in the supply chain. With the Tesla Semi, companies can reduce not only operating costs, but also vehicle downtime, making logistics more agile and reliable. And the benefits don't stop there. This electric truck can climb ramps with a 10% gradient at 60 miles per hour. Even when loaded, something conventional trucks can't do. They usually have to slow down to around 30 miles per hour and still face the risk of instability when try to maintain higher speeds. PepsiCo drivers who have driven the Tesla Semi report such a positive experience that they no longer want to go back to diesel models. The quietness of the electric engine and the smooth ride make their work more enjoyable and less stressful. Many drivers say they plan to stay in their jobs precisely because they can operate the Tesla Semi, a reflection of how this vehicle is transforming the trucking industry. Elon Musk has already confirmed that the Semi will be available globally, ushering in a new era of cleaner, quieter, and more efficient transportation, especially in urban areas. However, the global expansion faces some obstacles. For example, in Australia, 
The truck has not yet been approved due to local vehicle size regulations, although efforts are already underway to change these regulations, a process that could take years. Among the Tesla Semi's most impressive features is its regenerative braking system. Tesla claims that the truck can recover almost all of the energy it expends when going downhill, significantly increasing its range. In practice, this regenerated energy can be equivalent to that consumed during normal driving. This represents a huge advantage, especially since legislation limits drivers to working up to eight hours per day. With its current range, the semi already meets the requirements of most transport companies. And with the advancement of 4,680 batteries, which promise greater energy density, this autonomy tends to increase even more in the coming years. It would not be an exaggeration to imagine that future versions of the Tesla Semi will reach up to 600 miles on a single charge, leaving diesel trucks in the past. If you like the content and want to know more about the Tesla Semi or other Tesla innovations, don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel.